the actor Dermot Morgan has died. He was 45. Minister McCreevy rules out finance bill amendments to tackle non-resident companies and thousands demonstrate in London against government policy on the countryside. Good evening. There have been many tributes from the world of politics and entertainment, both here and in Britain, to the comedy actor Dermot Morgan, who died after collapsing last night at his London home. The star of the Channel 4 series, Father Ted, was 45. The president, Mary McAlee, said he was a gifted entertainer and an exceptional talent. The Taoiseach described him as a comic genius. Former Taoiseach Charles Hoy, one of the main targets of his wit in the Scrap Saturday radio series, said he was an innovative professional. RTE's Director General Bob Collins said he was an exceptional talent but acknowledged that his relationship with RTE had not always been smooth. It was Channel 4 that made Dermot Morgan an international star in his role as Father Ted. The series was voted Best Comedy at the BAFTA Awards and won Best Sitcom for two years running at the British Comedy Awards. But despite this success, Dermot Morgan didn't want to become typecast and had decided that this new series would be his last. Just a few weeks yes, ago, he said that after playing the same character for three series, he wanted to get out of the dog collar. Although, as a child, he had had dreams of becoming a priest. He had written a new drama series, which was in the process of getting made, and had the germ of an idea for a movie to be shot in Ireland. Morgan, who was 45, lived in London with his partner Fiona, but also had a home in Sandymount, Dublin. He had three sons. He collapsed at his home in Richmond, southwest London last night while hosting a dinner party for friends. He was rushed to hospital but was pronounced dead soon afterwards. The most probable cause of death was heart failure. Today the Taoiseach Bertie Ahern said this about the comedy actor. So I, I was a, a fair bit at the centre of uh, the, the, the cracks and uh, pronunciations of various things that he had me off to a fair tea. Um, but uh, he, he, I think he, you know, that's a good thing. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of fun and it's a bit more light-hearted uh, side of it. And, and particularly in Scrap Saturday, I mean, the, uh, the, the CJ Hahi, PJ Mara, uh, P. Flynn, I mean, they all, I mean, I, they were all good friends of mine. They all saw that as good fun. And, you know, it got people very much into it and listening to it. And he was a huge star. I mean, the, the fact is today uh, everybody is talking about it because everybody, even though they might never have met him, feel that they know him very well. There's a particular poignancy about the timing of Dermot Morgan's death. All around London this weekend are giant hoardings like this one advertising the forthcoming series. It was due to start transmission in just five days' time. Colm Connolly, RTE News, London. A certain cleric. Mike! Mike! Hello, Mike! We are sailing. We are sailing. And what are we sailing? Across the sea. The sea of life. Dermot Morgan's first television appearance was in 1979 on the live Mike show as Father Brian Trendy. What's the fish we're after? Soul. <laughs> and fillet of soul. A soul we must fill with love. And he was putting words in the mouth of Father Brian Trendy that I wasn't all that happy with a lot of the time. But to the more I protested, the more he did it and the more popular he became. And that was lovely. I had no problem with it at all. We were extremely good friends at that time. He decided to leave his teaching post at St. Michael's in Ballsbridge Bridge to pursue okay, his career as a comedian. He became heaven. famous not only Get for his parody of Father Brian line. Darcy, there was also Jim. Pollution, my Aunt Fanny. The GAA man. It's very important to get the slipper and to be able to pull on it, right? Right, fair enough. Okay, okay, carry out those bodies there now. And Johnny Giles. The way they played, obviously, some of the English lads um, nearly lost their heads as well. Uh, having said that, though, it uh, was a good match, a uh, boxing match. He liked to bite just a little. And uh, he, he had a great sense of social justice. There was even an element of anger in him. Um, but he had the most, one of the great comic minds of a generation. During the mid-80s, he also had a string of comedy hits with songs such as Thank You Very Much, Mr. Eastwood. He also starred in a number of television specials. Then, together with Jerry Stenbridge, he brought political satire to new heights with the radio show Scrap Saturday. Former Taoiseach Charles Hawhey, who was one of the main targets for Dermot Morgan's wit on the show, said he will be missed as a talented, innovative professional who brought great pleasure and enjoyment to hundreds of thousands of people. It was Imagine, a... Mara. Oh, yeah. Two little words sent them scurrying for cover. Open vote. <laughs> it has the same cadence as... 
bubonic plague. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, you know, do you know Morgan is, you know, uh, doing a satire on yourself and Charlie Hawley on radio on a Saturday. You should listen to it. And then I heard it, and then things started to take fire probably about the third or fourth week after that. And uh, I had no problem with it. Then there were the Late Late Show appearances in 1994 and 1995, before he left for London. Vindicators, I've been vindicators. He feels so vindicated, Albert feels so vindicated, he was actually prepared to pose beside the EU beef mountain. That's the beef mountain there on the right. Dermot Morgan finally became an international star through his starring role in Father Ted. He felt there would never be enough time for him to implement all his projects or get all his ideas down into his word processor. He had so many things to do. Dermot's relationship with RTE wasn't always smooth. He didn't always necessarily see RTE uh, in the most favourable light. These relationships are rarely entirely smooth. And it is ironic uh, that uh, a relatively short time ago last year, he in initiated uh, conversations with me in which we were talking about uh, things that might happen in the future. Um, and it's one of the, the ways that life develops that uh, what looked promising then uh, can't be realised now. He's beginning to loosen his grip now. 